to get a dark pin, you've got to draw and put six shots into the A zone of the target. Uh, and I'll show you the A zone on the target when we get out there. Um, and you've got to do it in three and a half seconds. Magtech is the only pistol or rifle ammo I use on the range and I recommend them highly. I've seen their manufacturing and quality control firsthand and it's incredible, which is why it always performs reliably and accurately. They are operating at max capacity and cranking out rounds for you to keep your skills sharp. Pick up some MagTech at your local ammo retailer or get it shipped fast at LuckyGunner.com. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Chronicles of the Range Monkey. It's Neil and Natalie Hi. shooting some drills at the Alliance in Sioux Falls. If you ever get a chance, stop out here. I want to thank these guys. We got the VIP range. Now we're shooting uh, the intro portion of these videos in here because there is uh, a whole lot of America going on <laughs> on the other one. And it makes the sound hard and it's hard on the sound guy uh, to make these videos uh, work. So yeah. we're going to do the uh, intro in here, talk about what the drill is, why it's important. Then we're going to go out and shoot it. Uh, then we'll come back in and finish talking about that afterwards, okay? So uh, today's drill, uh, we're going to do some of the Gabe White stuff. Now we did some of Gabe White's three triggers a few uh, weeks back where we did you know the one two and three triggers yeah. uh, with the Mantis unit and we kind of understand how that really helps drive uh, some of these results but uh, Gabe White stuff is not anything to sneeze at and so I've I am not John Korea I can't remember this stuff off the top of my head so <laughs> I have to read this but Gabe White has three pins that you can earn when you go to his class based on how accurate and fast you shoot um, and then you could not earn a pin, <laughs> right? So the bottom pin is a dark pin, the middle one is a light pin, and turbo pin is means you are a screaming fast shooter. I believe there's like less than 25 turbo pins in the wild. I think the number's like 23, somewhere in that ballpark. But you're talking about people like, that you would know, so you know AJ Zito? Yeah. Turbo pin guy, I was standing there watching of him course. and I'm like, oh my God. Goodness, uh, I think uh, Adam Winch uh, earned his not too long ago. Uh, you know, Riley Bowman. Th these are the quality of folks that you've got to be able to shoot with yeah. uh, to earn these things. Uh, and and then of course Gabe White's one of them. He earned them as well. So uh, turbo pin is nothing to sneeze at. I don't have one. Uh, nobody on ASP has one. Uh, in fact, the way this works is you go to his class. Yeah, now you have to shoot this in his presence at his class, right? So now I know there's people out there they'll say, well, I can make that. Well, go pay your money, go spend some time with Gabe, do it in front of him and everybody else, and then come brag. Because yeah. if you got a turbo pin, you should probably be bragging about it. Um, but there's four drills that you shoot throughout the week okay. or the weekend. It's a two day class. And then based on your time and accuracy on those drills, you follow into a certain category. Uh, either dark light, turbo, or a DQ, which happens a fair amount too. Um, and then it's your best four runs for the weekend give you your pin. So there's one called the build drill, there's the failure to stop, there's the immediate incapacitation, and the split build drill. Now you get two runs at each one of those on the clock, and then you take your four best scores, get your pin. So uh, okay. I've taken this class twice. The first year I got a dark pin, the second year I got a light pin. That's what started the whole suck less thing. Uh, so mm -hmm. I wanted to suck less, I got my light pin. Um, next time I go back, I'm gonna be working on a turbo pin. We'll see what happens, there we go. right? Let's see. Um, it's kind of a way to spend more time with Gabe, and these are hard things. So to get a dark pin on the build drill, which is what we're gonna go do right now. To get a dark pin, you've gotta draw and put six shots into the A zone of the target target uh, and I'll show you the A zone on the target when we get out there um, and you've got to do it in three and a half seconds so draw pull the trigger six times get your hits in three and a half seconds that's a dark pin time to do it to get a light pin you got to do it in two and a half seconds now you got to take a whole second off uh, to do it in turbo you've got to do it in two seconds flat so you have to get the gun out of the holster and pull the trigger six times accurately and you got a turbo pin Okay. That's yeah. what we're gonna go try to do right now. <laughs> yeah. All right? So try, um, people think this is the easiest one. Uh, and frankly, I don't think so. I think this is one of the harder ones because you've got a lot of recoil that you have to manage through that, okay? Mm -hmm. So I would think that you should be somewhere between the dark and the light pin where you're at if you get out of your holster pretty quickly. Okay, okay. So you ready to try this? Ready to try it. All right, <laughs> see you out there. It's time to do the build drill. Now, we have a little bit different target. We're using the ASP target. Uh, so we don't have the USPSA, IPSC target and all of that kind of stuff. So our build drill, we're gonna use the B8. Okay. The whole B8. So you gotta draw and get six shots into that whole B8. Okay, two-handed? Six. Two-handed? Yes. <laughs> See, a lot of America going on. We're rifle rated, yep. I don't know. <laughs> all right, so now we're at seven yards, so we're gonna back up just a hair. Okay. 
I'll grab the timer. Okay, right there looks good. Okay, do what you gotta do to get your gun ready. Okay. I am, I have one in the chamber. Okay. This is a draw, right? Yep, this is draw. Fire six shots. Get them all into that game. All right, and how fast? As fast as you can. How fast? <laughs> Let's get as fast as you can. Then we'll talk okay. about it, okay? All right. All right, here we go. Are you ready? Yep. Stand by. I forgot about the last one. Decock <laughs> up. Holy smokes, Natalie. So that was a uh, five, three, five. You had a real hitch. Uh, you had a second and a half in between the fit. So you'd have been at a five flat easy. Uh, and the score, you got to be three, five to get a dark pit. Okay. Okay. Right. Now let's come down. Let's show everybody your target real quick before we <laughs> shoot it the second time. Because everybody gets two chances here, but look at those hits. <laughs> those are all 10, there's two 10Xs, a 10, a 10, uh, oh man, there's only one nine there. You got all the rest <laughs> of that. So you could speed up a little bit and use the rest of that target. Okay. So shoot it faster this time, okay? Got it. All right, so this time I'm gonna move the, tar the camera behind you. Okay. One more time, you got six left in the gun? Yep. Are you ready? Yep. Stand by. There you go. Decock and holster up. So that was a three eight yes. one. A three eight Ooh. one. Let's go talk about the target a little here. All right. I did get one right there. I lost my dot for a second, but so through one little high. Now on the regular target that we would use, you would have from about here to about here but you wouldn't be as wide. So that probably, in Gabe's class, that would have been a qualifying run okay. at 3.8. Um, and then to get your dark pin, you gotta be at 3.5. So you still gotta knock a little time off of there, but now you kinda oh, know where you are. That's pretty cool, yeah. That's pretty cool, right? That's not as easy as it looks, is it? No. <laughs> All right, let's go, I'm gonna shoot it now. All right. Oof, all right, I haven't done this in a while. All right, are you ready? Yep. All right, shoot her ready. Nice. 319. Ugh. Okay. So I shot my first one about the same as you did. All tens, one nine. There we go. So not going to complain right, about that. Let's do it again. All right. Let's try it again. I'll see if I can speed it up. 319. 319. Ah, man. All right. All right. Shooter ready. Ooh. Helps if you have a full gun. <laughs> Helps if you have a full gun. Well, we got three shots off, four shots off, and two, two, two. All right, we're going to edit that out. <laughs> okay. All right, should I clear that? Yeah. Hang on, I got to make Suck ready. Suck less, Neil. Jeez. <laughs> what was, uh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. Shooter ready. <sighs> yep. All right. Got it in two, five, four. About two and a half seconds. Two, five, four. Let's go look at the target. I did the same thing you did, <laughs> only worse. So I shot one high and one out. So now in Gabe's class, I think this high one would have counted. This one probably would have put me out. So that's still a DQ. Um, eh, it's still pretty fast. Um, still pretty for fast. as rusty as I am, I'll take that. But there you go. That is the Range Monkey shooting the build drill at the Gabe White standards. A little harder than it looks, right? So you can see that getting a light pin is no easy task. It is right? not an Takes easy task. We're going to actually be doing this class hopefully this year sometime, so we better get to work. Yep. <laughs> see you next time. See you next time.